Right, um, hello, I am going to do a quick little how-to. It's not going to be by the real-world procedures, but it's going to be something that will basically work. And that's the main point, we want this to work. We don't really need to follow every actual thing. Um, first things first, it is an RNAV approach I'm going to be talking about. Um, RNAV area navigation, uh, it basically uses GPS as approach fixes. Due to the increasingly amazing capabilities of GPS and the accuracy, we can now use it to fly almost precision approaches. They're not quite precision approaches. Still got quite high minimums, similar to VOR, DME kind of approaches. Um, but we can get very close to the runway and then just switch to visual at the last second, well, last mile or two. Uh, we're looking at minimums of around about a thousand feet by most of these. Um, so let's have a look here. Um, so this is the Arnav to visual runway one free left approach at JFK Airport, uh, the Canarsie approach. Uh, it's also Canarsie climb. So basically, flying 045 from Asalt to Canarsie, passing by the Brooklyn Coast Guard Air Station. And then there's a visual point here at Lisa, and then it's a right visual turn. You can see these dotted dashed lines means this is supposed to be done visually. However, these waypoints are programmed into the FMC and the plane can fly them. Um, so we'll do those, however, we're supposed to be visual by this point here. Um, that is at a minimum descent altitude of 1260 feet. That is our minimums. Um, and then after that we will fly visually. However, the main point of this is getting the RNAV working. So how do we do that? Right. So first thing we know, uh, we're going to be flying this approach. I'm going to ask the air traffic controllers for it, specifically. It's a 60, knot, uh, 60 degrees from the left crosswind. Sorry, from the right crosswind if we do it. However, given that the airport buildings are entirely on the right, we shouldn't have too much wind on touchdown, so it should be okay. Um, it's a nice constantly banking right turn, very short final. Um, and New York do normally accommodate these kinds of things. So that is now starred, and I'm also going to look at the Cameron 4 arrival because that's how we're going to get there. So we're looking at CR Bolton Hogs Cameron. From Cameron, expect radar vectors to final approach fix in use. So that final approach fix for us is assault. We're going to expect vectors to assault from Cameron at 11,000 feet. So I'm going to program this now. So RNAV, if we come to F plan down here, we click JFK arrival. We've got all the approaches here. Uh, we want RNAV 13 left. That's this one here. Checked. And then we want the Cameron for arrival. There's no transition and there's no buyer. We're going vet radar vectors to final. I'm going to check this through now. We should have Cameron and that should be at 11,000, maybe less. Now this is now basically put in a few headings to continue this. It's saying assault 3,900, 600, at 3,000, we're co 1355, Jevney, KJFK. So this is the arc that we're going to be flying. Um, so let me just check that this is correct. No, that's not the correct one, so this might be the wrong approach. Let me have a quick look. It's the R nerve Z. It's X ray, Yankee, Zulu. There it is. We want R nerve Zulu 1 for left. Cameron 4. No buyer. Insert, that's better. This should now give us Cameron at 11,000 ish, and then, yeah, well, we'll see what happens after Cameron basically. Uh, we're cruising now at 4 level 310, we've got about 40 miles to top of descent, we're going to contact New York Centre at some point as well. So, that is the arrival basically programmed. From here, it's not too complicated basically. Um, the way it works is we need to now put in our approach data. So if I'm going to go into here, approach, we want to just enter the airport weather. So the airport weather we get from the Phoenix at the main app here. We've got KJFK Meta, we can switch from departure, arrival, and alternate. So we want this. We're going to actually get the D ATIS um, disconnected to VATSIM. So we've got KFK ATIS info golf 20015. So we're flying 1 free. So that's going to be 70 knots from the right. <coughs> 70 degrees from the right to 15 knots which is more or less a full crosswind so we're expecting a full 15 knot crosswind there um, it's going to give us a crab angle uh, around about 15 over 140 times 60 roughly um, yeah 
Light rain, few at 400, broken 60, approach and use RS 22 left, departing 22 right, CPDLC operational, bird is easy. Number of cranes operating at the airport, route back all port short, otherwise you have the book golf. So uh, it's ILS, we've got few at 400 feet, which is not too much, that is uh, one eighth to two eighths of the sky is covered, so not too terrible. Broken and overcast, our main consoles is concerned, the source is of concern, however. 6,000 and 1,000 are not too much of an issue considering our minimums are 1,200. So we're going to put some of this in here. So we've got QNH is the altimeter setting, 2985. That goes in QNH. Temperature is the one with the slash, that's 1918. So we've got a very close to the dew point, uh, which suggests that there's a high saturation of moisture in the air, so we could get a problem with uh, visibility. It's looking like it says 10 statute miles in light rain, but light rain will always cause a slight decrease in visibility. So. The next thing I need to fill in, we've got everything filled in, including the wind as well, that now comes in automatically, is the barrow. Barrow is the minimums, uh, so we need to pop those in. So that's on the chart, that's 1, 2, 6, 0. Okay, there's absolutely no point here. If we're not visual with the runway by 1, 2, 6, 0, we go around and find a better approach. So 1260 is set there, we've got full flaps at 134, we don't need to turn any of the GPWSs off. Go around is okay there. Secondary flight plan, we don't need to initialise that, we're going to try and land at JFK. If we can't land at JFK we'll talk about it when we come, we'll be ending up in a hold at some point, um, and we'll deal with that when it happens. So it's probably going to be a longer video, um, but hopefully it will actually have enough information in it to make this flyable everyone at home, including me, I'm also at home. We've got traffic 2,200 above, behind. Looks like opposite direction. Okay, let's start talking to New York, maybe. We've got JFK app, LGA app. Oh my god, everything's online. Jesus Christ. Okay, so New York is fully online. 128725 Hopefully I'll start receiving this Whoa, jeez Is that a loft wind shear? that. Okay, I'm going to set 11000 and uh, we're going to engage the descent. Okay, 2055 turn right heading 160, descend and maintain 3000. Do not That's exceed. That's not starting there. Not. All right, right 160 down to 3000, don't exceed one, uh, or sorry, correction, 210 knots, uh, yeah, 25000. New York Center, Delta 5687, uh, flat level 3, also just started to set to camera. Delta 5686, New York, uh, standby. Standing by. Yeah, 903, contact Potomac Approach, 119 or 85. Yeah, 7441 direct, Wendy. Yeah, 7441, thanks. Yeah, 903, contact Potomac, 119085. 119085, 39905, we'll see you later, have a good one. Skyway 7441, cross Lendy, flight level 190250 knots. Cross Lendy, 250 knots, and uh, flight level 190, Skyway 7441. New York approach, Delta 330, climbing 10,000 feet. Delta 330, New York Center, welcome back. Proceed direct to Merritt, climb and maintain 17,000, 17,000. Okay, direct to Merritt, climb but 17,000 for Delta 330. Yeah, 2055, turn right heading 240, intercept the local glide. Right, 240, intercept the local glide, right now, turn Yeah, 2055, two miles from Cedarboro, clear to Alice, 2-2 uh, left approach. Clear to Alice, 2-2 left approach, United 20 Command 1683 requesting high all. 
So you're getting a bit hectic now. 1383 contact Washington Center, 13372 He's quite loud, but that's fine. 13372, 60 Delta 50, 687, Squawk 7125, Ident. Squawk 7125, Ident coming, Delta 5678. Where's the Ident button? Good evening, New York Center, Quant 1632, foot level 120, uh, on the Kennedy 5, departure, indirect waypoint, Wavy. Quant 1632, New York Center, good evening. There's the Ident. Maintain fall with 230, proceed direct Yazoo. I maintain 230 and direct Yazoo, uh, corner 1632. Yeah, 2055 contact uh, New York Tower 118.3. Tower 118.3, have a good night, United So don't worry too much, the RNAV approach is not more complicated than it already was. Delta 330 contact Boston Center 134.7. Contact Boston Center 134.7. We're basically going to be, um, Pressing approach, and it'll do it. Basically, it's set up in the FMC now. We've got the approach set. We just need to set our speed, manage our speed on final as usual. Um, <laughs> might even not get a radar primary. Yeah, one twenty-six. Thanks, and squawk seven one three one. Yeah, we're set up, we're good. We've got some CBs here. The significant weather report for the area did say there was some embedded uh, cumulonimbus storm clouds within the Nimbus stratus layer. So expecting rain. Um, there's a big weather front basically all over the west and east coast right now. We're looking good, we've got a few layers here. Delta 5687, radar contact, 8 miles from Hog, descend and maintain flight level 190. So maintain flight level 190, can we get one free left at KJFK? Delta 5687, uh, that'll be up to the approach control, you can uh, check with them uh, when you get to, when I hand you off. Oh, thanks. Well... Because we heard three, two, three left. I don't want to do two, two. I want to do the fun approach. I don't want to do a straight in ILS thing. Um, we could also switch to RNAV two, two, but this one's more fun. It also shows off the entire point of RNAV. It can do crazy things, like fly curved approaches. Um, TCAS is standby. Delta no, no, no. Six eighty seven cross Cameron at one one thousand two five zero knots. The Kennedy altimeter is two nine or eight two. Cross Cameron one one thousand on two nine eight two delta fifty six eighty seven. So we got clearance down to Cameron at 1100, so 11,000 11, feet, and he just gave me ultimate which was 2912, I think it was, no, that makes no sense, it can't be that low. Uh, uh, 2985. Let's check it again. KJFK ATIS. Info Hotel, 180 at 10, so actually it's 50 degrees now from the right. Uh, 10 York miles, Center, light rain, few, few, with you, uh, scattered, overcast, 2982. 2982. Check. 198, New York Center, radar contact, 5 miles. Passing below. Uh, New York, so there we go, that's 2982. Set. Coming into New York, it's a bit busy, so I'll put a passing seatbelt signs right on. TCAS does not need to be on standby. What is this nonsense? Marin 3198, turn off heading 360, maintain 4000. Heading 060, maintain 4000, 3198. Marin 3198, negative. Heading 360, due north and 04, okay. or sorry, 4000. 360, heading 4000. My apologies, heading 360 and maintain 4000. What's the message? ASC received dial ops. Sky West 7441, two contact minute delay. approach 12812. Okay. 2812, Sky West 7441. Turn, ASC menu, we're going to do ADC delay. Zero, 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 0002, we've got Speedbird Concord 4 in your center, climb and maintain follow 230, delete speed restriction. This is how to fly on on approach, crazy stuff. Just want to make it more fun. Uh, 3444. Um, Wigan 3, getting 43 frames per second right now, it's not bad. Approved to change approved, so let's say Wigan 3. 
American 3150, expedite the turn, please. You're flying through all other people's airspace right now. Medium. Uh, when, you, when you get a and you get experience, please make sure you understand fully what you're doing. Uh, because you've turned the left, which is not what you're delay supposed to do, and ended up interfering with LaGuardia's operations. Delay allocation, so it's an operational delay, let's okay. say. Um, 3198, contact departure 120.4. Departure 120.4. Late arrival of pushback crew, RLP. Delta 5687, contact approach 128.1 so you can make your runway with request with them. 128.12, uh, Delta 5687, thanks, bye. He added uh, 964. 170, descend and maintain 5,000 United, 964. New York approach, Delta 5687 with you, descending 11,000 Cameron. Delta 5687, your approach is at RF left. Delta 5687, can we get RNF 13 left? Let's get down to that many knots. Got some ships. We got some weather in New York that's sitting over the top of Kennedy by the looks of it, so it's pretty minging. Landing lights on, we're a very busy terminal arrival area, so we want to just be as visible as possible. We've got full on earth capabilities. due to traffic, there's going to be uh, additional 10 minute delay, about 10 minute delay if you want to do that. Yep, Roger, just give us a hold or whatever you want to do. Delta 5687, if you can hold over Cameron, is that for the clearance? Uh, Cameron. Hold. Expect clearance at 1 8, hold a camera. Delta 23687. Computed, insert, fly. Here we go. Yeah, the hold is set. Let's see if it flies in. Let's check there isn't a um, published hold. Left turns. Left turn 180, American 9180. Oscar Alpha Romeo 1, November, November, Connor 19, 6 out. Climb on uh, maintain 6,000 feet to Oscar Alpha 210 knots, November, November. left turns 221041. Okay, so that's 041, perfect. Inbound legs 041, 220 knots in the hold. So, this video has become more of a tutorial on how to fly an entire approach into New York when you want to have fancy requests due to traffic. So we've got a 10 minute hold at Cameron, which is going to be about two laps. And the hold goes in quite quickly, we just go into the flight plan, we click on the waypoint, we click on the thing, we click hold, and we go in there, we go in the chart, we go, aha. Uh -huh. So maintain 10,000, Delta 5687. All right, we're in a hold, so we can do open descent. Heading 360, Delta 5687. Okay, we might be getting vectored off already, um, since we're in the hold, and that's the right direction for the airport. Um, so he might say direct to assault. Clear down our approach, runway 13 left. If he says that, we put direct to assault. We descend to the altitude at Assault, which is 2300. Uh, it's supposed to be at 3000. Once we descend to that initial altitude, all we need to do is press uh, Approach. Now, since we're already in our approach phase, I'm going to activate the approach phase on the MCDU performance page. So that's performance, approach, engage it. We've got 210 knots. 
I'm going to use auto brake low for the landing. I actually need to set up the init page there. I forgot to do that. There's a lot to do. Uh, 56.3, 4.1, that's going to be 60.4 tons. So 60.4 tons is going to go into my arrival performance calculator. Uh, 60. 60.4, yeah. 60.4. Done. We're going to use low auto brake. Maximum reverse, flaps for manual landing, auto throttle on. Right, we've got plenty of space. The wind is American six knots tail, six knots cross, four eight knots four. Front. Four so that'll be fine. Now, if he wants us to descend further, we're going to need to get it soon. We've got 20 miles to go, and we need to descend to 4,000 feet. You can see there's a bit of a traffic situation going on up ahead. 15 miles range, they're all in the holding over for 2 2 left. <laughs> we can do land an old short. Seven thousand below. Okay. Delta Flight down there. We can just press exit when we need to. We just need it anymore. Skywalk seventy four forty one. Just to maintain four thousand. Center maintain four thousand. Skywalk seventy four forty one. Approach Delta eleven forty four. We're good. Let's reduce down to minimum clean. Thirty frames per second. We might even get to see New York. We're getting a direct heading to Assault, more or less. But we need three thousand feet at Assault. Delta fifty six eighty seven descending chain three thousand. Set maintain three thousand. Delta fifty six eighty seven. Okay, that's the altitude we need, but we need to get there quickly. So I'm going to do fifteen hundred feet per minute. With a bit of speed break. Temple 1583, trap no factor, climb maintain 1 2 down. Flaps 1 coming in. Temple 1583, climb maintain 1 2 down. We've got the vertical deviation now showing up here. That's our approach uh, ILS thingy basically. We're off track, so we're showing deviation left and right. Once we put the director assault in, that will all come back. Entering cloud now, just check for icing conditions. We've got 18, 8 degrees, that is enough to get ice, so we'll put the anti ice on. You can get icing anything below 16 degrees Celsius, more or less. Right, uh, zero four zero, uh, descent uh, three thousand feet. Oscar Alpha one uh, November November. Oscar Alpha Romeo no one November November. Descend maintain four down. Four thousand feet. Oscar Alpha Romeo one November November. So we're already on the approach. Um, we're just going to hope that we have visual minimums. That's basically the main problem. But you can see there's a bit of light through the cloud. So it might we're be okay yet. Hold somewhere in the checklist. 24, 34 frames per second. So expectation direct assault cleared our nav. When that happens, we go direct on here, assault there. And then we press approach. Skywest 7441, manned out to maintain 5,000. Maintain 5,000, Skywest 7441. Since there's nothing to see out the window, we're concentrating on our instruments. Uh, this is IFR conditions, so we'll fly it like it's an IFR. Skywest 1, uh, after Alpha Romeo 1 November, November, we do speed 180 or less. Say again for uh, Oscar Alpha Romeo 1 November, November. Scout of 5687, amend out to maintain 6000, turn right heading 130. Maintain 6000, we just broke it, but we'll turn right heading 130 down to 5687. American 9180, turn left heading 010. That's 
do 160 knots since we've been delayed anyway we might as well just go slowly for it um, that was quite last minute we were pretty much on track for Assault and then he just told us stop to send 6000 heading 130 right, <laughs> so we're getting vectors rather than holds okay let's see how he does so yeah basically all we need is direct assault cleared our nav and that's all we want uh, when we do that we just press direct assault cleared our nav and we press final app for that we just press this button here APPR the same one that you'd press if you were flying a standard ILS approach but because we've told the FMS we're flying an RNAV approach, it's going to do an RNAV approach. Alpha, no. It's quite clever. Oscar Alpha Romeo, one November, November. Quite low Turn set. Right terrain on. Zero five zero. Okay, over the ocean basically. So that's our initial approach. There, we've got a good visibility. American ninety one eighty, two thousand. Two thousand American ninety one eighty. Hectic, hectic, hectic. But it's good to go, we've got approach mode engaged and everything's set up. Yeah, we're level up for 6,000. Right got traffic there left at right, about 10 o'clock. American 91, turn left heading 310. Left turn 210, American 91, 80. Delta 1144, turn right heading 040. Breaking the glass. Not expecting much rain just yet. Anti and wing eyes not detected, so we can turn off those systems. Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November, descend and maintain 3000. Descend to 3000 feet, Alpha 1 November, November. I'm going to set 119.1 one 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 already, that is the tower frequency, that's already uh, set on my uh, standby, so we can switch over quickly when we need to. American 9180, do you have the airport in sight? Truck clock, 15 miles. Uh, negative, not inside, American 9180. Delta 5687, turn right heading 220. Right heading 220, Delta 5687. Approach Sky 7441, ready to go inbound. Sky 1 roger. Can I see tuned? It's 13 miles away. American 9180, turn left heading 190, you are 3 miles from Zalpo, maintain 2,000 to establish on the local cloud, declared IRS and wing 2 to left approach. Heading 190, maintain 2,000 to establish Canales, uh, 2 to left approach, American 9180. Delta 1144, maintain 4,000. 4,000, Delta 1144. Oscar Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November, turn left heading 280. Left 280, South from 1 November, November. Skyway 7441, turn right, heading 270. Right turn 270, Skyway 7441. Alright, we need a right turn. He's basically taking us back to Cameron on some huge racetrack. Um, Skyway 7441, continue right turn heading 340. Continue the turn heading 340, Skyway 7441. Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November, turn left in 280. Left 280, Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November. 
American 9180, contact Canadian Tower 1 and 4-1. Tower 1 American 9180. Off the Alpha Road near 1 November November, you are 1 0 miles from South Pole, maintain turn left in 2 5 0, maintain 3000 to establish on the required to take the RS way to left approach. Turn left uh, 250 degrees, uh, clear for ILS approach, uh, runway 22 left, uh, Oscar from the 1 November November. Delta 1144, turn 10 degrees to the right, we will see 180 or left. Delta 1144. Delta 1144, from the main 180 now. 180 or not. Oh, please don't fly us all the way back. To oh, there's that ship that we saw earlier. Oh, that was 34.41, which was It's a bigger hold than two laps of Cameron, to be honest. Sure, bigger than two, two laps of Cameron at 11,000. Make a difference if we could accept land or short or not. Oscar Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November. Contact Kennedy Tower, 11.1. And, one. and uh, keep the speed up, please. Maintain 180 or not onto Delta. Delta 1144, turn up in 280. 280, Delta 1144. Oscar Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November. Maintain 180 or not onto Delta. Yeah, looks like we're flying back into nicer Maintain frames. Maintain 180 knot until uh, Zalpo, Oscar Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November. Oscar Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November, contact Kennedy Tower, 119.1. 119.1, one. One, one, Oscar Alpha Romeo, 1 November, November. Skywalk 7441, we'll do speed 180. We'll speed 180, Skywalk 7441. Delta 1144, turn up in 250. Getting sad every time I hear Delta, and it's not me. 250, sad. 3000, Delta 5684. Delta 5687, turn right heading 010. Right heading 010, Delta Now that he's cleared us to the right, I'm actually going to increase the speed a bit because we're back inbound. We're going to want to fly away as slow as possible, fly to as fast as possible, <laughs> in a hold anyway. Delta 1144, Delta 1144, making way in turn off onto Zalpo, contact Kennedy Tower, 7441, turn left in 250, you are 200 miles from Dalton, maintain 3000 on to establish on the localized trade hours and we should left the coach. Left turn 250, 3000 to establish, cleared ILS, 22 left, sky 7441. Still going to stay at 6,000, but that's fine, I guess. We've got 180 knots. Skyway 3441, maintain 180 knots or less on to Zalpo. Contact Kennedy Tower for 191. 180 or less until Zalpo and 19 one. Skyway 7441, good night. So this is turning in such a long video. <laughs> I just like to do things the way they would be done in real. Even if I was training an on-over approach, I would still have to do it like this. But it's a good thing we're going to have a nice 15-knot uh, crosswind on final, um, which should be interesting.
would be fun in any case. Forty frames per second. Very nice, all things considered. The door's not working anymore because I turned off the cabin. Oh well. Let's check it. Right, right heading one eight zero. Delta fifty six eighty seven. And out of fifty six eighty seven, this will be the last three six. He's gonna put to. Um, gonna wait for the uh, people and then get to get closer. Yeah, Delta 5687, we I don't get it, when there's a published hold at Cameron, why would you send me round and around on random vector courses that make not very nice patterns in the sky? I mean, I've currently got a triangle spiral, rather than a nice oval racetrack. Oh well, if that's what they want. That's what they'll get. I'm going to definitely timestamp this video so you can skip through all of the needless bits. We sent 3,000 doubts to 5687. That's going to be open. We don't need to rush to do that. We're facing the wrong direction after all. Point three, so this is going to be fifty nine point six. We need to check our landing weights. We've burnt a fair bit of fuel doing that. So this is now five nine six. Right heading two seven zero down to fifty six eighty seven. Send that much over the sea. We've got eight knots headwind now and six knots tailwind. So actually, one three is the good one to be going for. We're below minimums. Delta 5687, what's it? Um, on as you get through to one three left. Ever. Roger, can you that? Charles. Out of 5687, proceed direct assault, cross assault at the 19 3000, cleared on as GPS Zulu for 113 left approach. Direct assault, cross assault 3000, cleared on of GPS Zulu, 113 left approach, Delta 5687. So, there we go, we are cleared. We're now going to fly to assault at the prescribed altitude of 3000 feet. Upon reaching assault, we will engage, well, should we could already engage approach mode. There. All that happens is we've clicked approach mode and our FMC lateral navigation is now gone to approach navigation, oh, app nav. Um, all I can tell you for sure about that is it's a more precise uh, form of navigation which needs a bit stricter stuff. For the completeness, we check our accuracy here. This is the important part. It's on the progress page here. Um, we check we've got the required accuracy. The required accuracy for the flying is uh, Alpha Romeo, 1 0 0.3. 
we've got 0 0.03 I don't think the L nerve degradation is a simulated thing in Phoenix the main thing is though that we need to set the altimeter correctly so I'm mashing B a few times to get this perfectly set departure, Delta 11, as it goes off the uh, normal oh dear Mr. Approach is so we're crossing our set of 3000, we've got that engaged. And we see final in blue. You turn him down for me, I don't know if you can hear him still. Anyway. Um, so as so you can see the blue arrow there. The blue arrow means that is where the descent will continue. We're going to go to Canarsi, that's the final approach fix, that's why it's in blue. Um, and at that point we're going to fly a little bit different. So I'm going to ask for 160 knots, 165. Lap 3. Speed was checked. Of course. Yeah, so the accuracy thing. Yeah, we need 0 0.3, we've got 0 0.03, so that very rarely changes in sim. Contact Kennedy Tower 119.1 Delta 5687. Got traffic on TCAS anyway. Delta 11.4, turn up in 130. There we go, tower. So LDEV is on track and VDEV is going to come down once we reach 3000 there. 165 knots for the initial approach. We will fly the approach with the gear down from the initial fix. This is to maintain vertical accuracy um, as it means there's no mad configuration changes. Gear down. Cabin tower fly high 69 I heart of Raleigh. Cabin crew warning. Fly high 69, no air no white sign on file, please resubmit. So the accuracy required is not stated. It's also a visual approach, so it's fine. Do not exceed 210 knots if unable blah blah blah. blah. A missed approach, we're going to go directly to Kikav. Okay, we're now turning right. We see the approach now coming down. Final lap engages and the descent should begin. There we go. The plane now descends to intercept the final okay, approach plan. fix. So that was all set up already. The approach just engaged. Final approach is now fixed. Speed checked. Roger, what, what is and the we've got the vertical deviation on track Fly there. High. We can set flaps full now to minimise any further configuration changes. Ask for the speed to be reduced to minimum approach. Kennedy Tower, Delta 5687, the Beam Canarsi Coast Guard Station. Three, one three left. Delta 5687, one right, one three left, clear to land. Wind 18010. So land 13 left, delta 5687. Uh, the wind is pretty much our headwind now, 180, it's 50 degrees, about two-thirds component. We're now fully established, we've got full configuration, we're set up for landing, we're just going to fly this now, it's uh, going to hold us on the perfect profile. So the profile is 2000 at Canarsi, so it's, that's why it's only descending at 400 feet per minute. Uh, once we're below 2000, we've got a few clouds at 600 feet, so we might not be having a full visual approach but we've got the RNAV as well and we've got the airport in sight at this point. Um, the clouds are looking rather see-through so that's okay. 2500 on the uh, GPWS, that's checked. Yeah, it's been about one hour's flight time since Dulles um, so it was anticipated to be a bit less than that but that's okay we're going to have a, a late arrival. But we can say that's due to air traffic control because it was, it gave us a delay hold. Fly high, 59, clear to the Riley Airport. 23 frames per second now. There we go, we're just maintaining and you can see the plane pitching and yawing and everything. Um, and it's basically just trying to maintain this and this. The fact that I've got approach mode means I've got final app and everything else is perfectly fine. Gear is down, three greens, auto brake set to low and speed brake is armed. Lights are on, landing clearance is obtained, so we are good to continue the approach. Now this is uh, RNAV, so we're going to leave it in for as long as possible, just for the sake of it also, I'm not technically visual yet. Um, but you can see we're now descending down on the profile, 
Sky Vertical deviation alert's turning into a 3 degree glide path as we expected. It was supposed to be 3 degrees after Canarsie. Runway 13 left is this one over here, it's on the other side of the uh, airport, so we have to go around along this motorway and then tag in visually. Um, so let's see what the plane actually does. Uh, this is now supposed to be visual after Lisa. After Lisa, we need the airport in sight. Airport in sight. Clearance received. Everything else is fine. Now we're going to start the right turn. The airplane's doing this all for me. I'm not actually having to do anything. Um, it's now adjusting the descent rate to capture that vertical deviation. We've got some light rain on the windshield, but that doesn't seem to be anything to worry about. 100 above our minimums. Runway's in sight. No pappy, but we've got the vertical deviation, which is telling us if we're too high Minimum. or not. Continue. Coming in now over the horse racetrack. Uh, this is another visual reference point. This RNAV approach roughly follows expressway visual. Um, but if you look, it's pretty much spot on. We're on track, we're on glide path, and there's nothing more you could really want. The One pitch pass. is increasing there. You can see we've got the 20 knot wind from the sides. The aircraft's adjusting to fight that. Um, with visual. So hopefully this will just fly around. It's going to bring us in maybe a little bit too much to the left. So it's going to... Ah, it's unbanking for me already. It's now aiming for that final approach fix. Starting to bank to the right slightly. So it's still flying the whole thing by itself. However, at this point in reality, this is where we would take over. So we're going to do that now. Going to let the wind push us across. And I'm going to have to bank into it at the end. Um... You can see that there, there's a very big yaw movement to the right. 400. There you go, coming in over the buildings now. 300. 50, 40, 30, 10, 5. Touchdown. Stay on the ground. He's a bit washed out on landing. Exit 687, nice approach. Welcome to Kennedy. Exit right when able. Exit right, Delta 5687. Be the next one. That was a wild yaw on final almost went off the runway there not too happy about that but the rest was good there you go so that's what RNAV can do um, it can get us really close to a runway um, with relatively Delta high accuracy parking via Alpha parking via Alpha Delta 5687 left or right <laughs> uh, if you're going to Terminal 4 it's going to be uh, left it's going to be electron Roger, roger. Thanks, yeah, Terminal 4. Makes sense. Okay, <laughs> let's get the ground charts. Oh, I hate these Microsoft taxiway signs. Yep, yeah, I'll turn on to Alpha next one. And next, uh, next taxiway, next taxiway, make a, make a left and a right. Let me just get this up here. There's a right and the left is actually what he meant there. That's up. The speed breaks up and the APU is going to go on. We're taxing around JFK and the Phoenix A320. We're getting 19 frames per second. With some heavy weather to be fair. But it could be better. A little bit better. Landing rate wise that seemed quite okay. Um, yeah, there's a small problem with how much the rudder actually does any I had full left rudder as I was putting the nose wheel down and it did nothing. We still drifted all the way to the right of the runway. Um, which is a bit frustrating really. Landing light can go off, strobe lights off. Taxi lights on. 
Terminal 4 is just up ahead on the right. We're going to go in via mm, Hotel. Which is going to be the next right. Okay, confirm hotel. Nope, these taxiway signs are rubbish, but that looks like hotel identify. Turning right. Seventeen frames per second. Fantastic. Look at those tower textures. That's just amazing, isn't it? Wow. Could have taken Hotel Bravo, that would have been better. Anyway, taxiing through the whole of the airport. Oh, there we go. Take this one. Let's take stand 3 5. Tower, got the level 44 with you again. ILS 2 2 left. 1144, runway to the left, clear to land, number two. Clear to land, number two, for runway two, two left, stop all 44. Kennedy Tower, on Scarlet Formula 1, November, November, short final, uh, six miles, uh, runway two, two left. Or one, no, or one, November, Mike. November, November, runway to the left, clear to land. Clear to land, runway two, two left, on uh, Scarlet Formula 1, November, November. Parking brake set. APU is available, engine 1 going off and engine 2 going off. Beacon light off, seatbelt signs off. Taxi and takeoff lights off. Emergency lighting off. Yes, we can deboard. Thank you. Send us the jetway. So, there you go, debriefing. Um, on over approach, pretty good. Uh, works great in marginal conditions, I'd say. Um, wouldn't use it for a full IFR approach if you've got an ILS you take that instead but you can use it when you've got kind of minimums above minimums weather um, which is always the case if we're coming in for full fog we need an RNAV approach that has higher precision that is also possible the only reason that one doesn't is because of the right turn on final um, so there's loads of possibilities but that's basically how you fly one uh, using the approach final lap engages make sure you've got the performance set to approach face and the thing will do itself um, you just need to control the speed basically um, and then choose the right moment to switch to visual take over do the landing so let me just get the landing rate for the interested parties 236 feet per minute that's why it bounced yeah, so it's a bit tricky to learn this thing, especially out of a non so not so stable approach like that. But that'll get better with time, hopefully. Anyway, doo doo.